Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert, edit and format citations, and then how to use placeholders, and finally, how to insert a bibliography. So as you can see, I've already inserted two citations here. And if we go ahead and place a new one, I'm going to place one here. So I'm going to put my cursor between the word and the full stop. Then I'm going to go to References and click Insert Citation. Here you have a number of options. If you click on the drop down, you can select from a number of different options here. I'm just going to leave it on Book. Then insert your author, title, city, publisher and year. Once you've inserted all that information, you can go down to this checkbox here if you want to expand this information. And then you can insert volumes if it's a journal and the number of volumes. Let's just insert some page numbers down here. And then once you're happy, just click OK. And as you can see, we've got our citation up here. If you want to go ahead and edit this, if you click on it, click on the drop down and select Edit Source. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and change any of these different options. Let's just change the year, click OK. So Word will save your citations in a master list, which will be all the citations you've entered into all of your reports or documents. But there will also be a current list, which will just apply to this report only. So you can either tell Word to update just this citation or both. I'm going to click yes. And as you can see, that's updated there. Now, if you haven't got the details of your citation yet, you just want to use a placeholder. Click again where you'd like that placeholder to be. Go up to insert citation. And then you can see at the bottom here, it says type of source. So you can just click OK now, or you can change the name of this. Say, for example, you had the author's name and then click OK. And then you can see that this will come up as the author's name, but it's just merely a placeholder. And when you want to go and edit it, you just simply click on the drop down and click Edit Source. And then you can go into the dialog box and input your citation. Once you've completed your document and your citations, we're just going to click on the bottom here and I'm just going to introduce another page. If we want to place our bibliography here, place your cursor where you want it. Again, make sure you're on References and go to the Bibliography drop-down menu and just select either Bibliography or Works Cited. So click on Bibliography. So something a little bit odd has happened up here and we need to correct it. We've got two citations that are the same one that haven't updated and we've got two of these placeholders. If this happens, go up to Citations and this dialog box will appear on the right. Go down to the bottom, click on the gear icon and go down to Citation Source Manager. Now in here, this is the master list and current list that I was talking about. So this will be your master list for all the citations you've inserted into Word and this is your current list for all the citations you've put into this current document. So what we can do if we want to get rid of this one, we can simply press delete. This is the placeholder that I inserted earlier and there's one here that I inserted during my rehearsal of this video. So if I click on this one and I delete it, then I've only got those citations I've included in this particular document in current list. Now I can go back and edit this, but at the moment that's just a placeholder. Once you're happy, press close. And then we can click on our bibliography, click on the three dots, press delete. Go back up to bibliography, click bibliography, and there you can see that this has been updated. So now we've got the bibliography, how does this all update if we need to update one of these references? So let's see what happens when we go back and we format this placeholder. So we go back to the placeholder and click on it, this one here. Click on the drop down, edit source. Once you put all the information in, we'll just click OK. 
and it says this source exists in your master list and current document. Do you want to update both lists? Yes, we do. So now our citation has been updated here, but our bibliography hasn't. So click on the title, click on the drop down, and click Update Citations and Bibliography. And as you can see now, that's updated and that citation has been entered. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.